What's up, Samurai? Today, we're going to be playing some Ronin Trail. You guys might remember I ended up covering this game last year, and unfortunately, all I could have really done at that point was just link to a really, really outdated Patreon, a Kickstarter that I completely missed just because I didn't even know this game existed until last year. Um, but the developer ended up going radio silent for a while, he is finally back and he's actually been doing pretty regular updates for a uh, blog post, just kind of dev diary type of thing, uh, mentioning all of the qualms that he's been dealing with with development and so on and so forth. But the most important thing is that he finally updated his Patreon and now you can just buy access to the most recent demo of the game. So that's exactly what I ended up doing because I think this game is stupendous. To, to summarize it, uh, this dude is basically making a uh, a top-down Ghost of Tsushima, uh, and I obviously really, really like the graphics just because of the uh, the the style of it all. Anyways, let's let's just go for default guy. I don't really care. Uh, I don't know how much content there actually is in this demo. I'll put a link to his Patreon in the description though. Um, oh, am I just? Oh, we just start. Okay. Um, so, huge changes from last time. As far as I know, there is going to end up being a survival aspect to the game with um, L for turning our torch on, thank God. There's, there's going to end up being a survival aspect with food and uh, hydration and stuff like that. But the big thing that I liked about the game when I originally tried it was just that the combat was very, very difficult and very brutal, which I really appreciated. Okay, so it seems like we actually have some basic stuff. Whoa. We're here. Uh, I don't know what that is. You know what this might be? I wonder if this, I could be wrong. I wonder if this is from the early demo that I played last year. Because that demo has since been like completely out of date. And even when I ended up covering this game, that demo was out of date. But... Uh, it was the only thing that I had access to, so it was just like, okay, T to unequip our weapon, okay. So, if I remember how the combat works, uh, okay, space is dash, uh, we can block and then click, and that's how we, like, push. That's right. What a beautiful freaking game, dude. Like, I'm, I'm so pumped for this game. Space bar to dodge, yeah, I gotta get used to that. Um... Just everything about this game, like, it speaks to me, dude. It's saying, you know, like, I really like what this game is trying to be. And I'm looking forward to actually, like, uh, you know, now that I have access to the demo, uh, you know, the, the basic version of the game, um, we can actually cover it on the channel with regular updates and so on and so forth. Because, uh-oh. Hey, bro. What's up? Yeah. So that's the thing that I love about this game is the fact that it's uh, Ghost of Tsushima rules. So it's a one shot kill. Hunger and thirst goes up with this. Okay, what's the what's the quick uh, quick easy way to get this to my inventory? Double click. Okay, so I, I'm not used to the hunger meter or anything like that. That'll be interesting. That guy's got a spear. I was gonna say I wonder if there's different weapon types now. Um. Can I also sneak up on this guy? Well, I kind of could. Whoa, hey bro. A lot of these guys are gonna be very, very basic to fight just because all I gotta do is just kind of counter them. I don't know if there's a point in grabbing this other than there seems to be durability, but I don't know where we see stats uh, on items. Whoa. Wait, why is it going to my log? I wanted to see my bag. Thank you very much. Okay, it's a little bit janky, but anyways, let's get ourselves the better katana. I got I got to relearn this game. I'm so excited for this because I knew that there was a better like demo version of the game, like an early access version that was available to uh Kickstarter backers. But as I mentioned, like I didn't even know that that was a thing. Uh-oh. Okay, thankfully these guys are like really stupid, but I drained a lot of my stamina doing that. Uh, the other thing that's crazy 
is as far as I know, this dude is actually planning on adding multiplayer to this game. And he's also planning on adding invasions. Like I've been kind of keeping track of uh, his dev blogs and stuff like that. And most of all, it was just the second I saw that I was able to get access to this game. Um, I was just like, yes, give it to me. There's so many nice little touches, like even right there, the 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 water here turned red because we wiped off the blood of our enemies. <laughs> uh, as far as I know, there's fast traveling. Apparently there's supposed to be a way of moving the camera. I guess maybe it's just that, I don't know. It's something to do with middle click was supposed to be the thing. I don't know why I can't get any armor off of these homies. Because I'm naked right now, dude. Uh-oh. Is this trying to show me that there's an archer coming? But, I mean, you guys know me. I love anything to do with, like, samurai stuff. It's, you know, it's in my logo and just in general. It's like, I'm I'm a weeb when it comes to, like, uh, Edo Japan period stuff. Hey, you okay? Papa? Can you help Papa? No. Papa, get up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, child. Gah! It was, it was uh, a mercy kill. <laughs> oh, there's something wrong with me. Oh man, he's actually got like interiors now. That's pretty cool. Um, anything that we can ransack from here? Some sticks, stuff in a box. <gasps> I stole someone's kimono. Oh, beautiful. Nice. And I like how we have uh, some of our, like the sticks are on my belt. That's a nice little touch, I guess, because it's on my hotbar. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with the sticks. Uh, also in the bottom left of the screen, there is like the tiniest freaking. Can I change this in the settings? I can change my cursor size. There is the tiniest, most like smallest, the smallest icon you've ever seen for thirst and hunger. And it pisses me off. There is a crouch. Okay, so maybe I can sneak up on dudes. Look up, look down. Okay, so there is the camera. Uh, can I set this to mouse squeal, mouse scroll? No, I can't, but I can set it to my uh, number or uh, D-pad or whatever. Block next stance. Uh-oh, previous stance. He really likes Ghost of Tsushima. I really like that. Attack cancel. That seems like it's going to be really important to feign attacks. Let's see, can we actually change our stance? All we've got is default stance at the moment. Okay, so that comes into play later. Let's, um, that gives health and hunger. This gives thirst. Can I just, these items don't automatically stack. That's a little bit annoying, but whatever. You know, beggars can't be choosers with this type of a game. There might be a function like that, that I just don't know about. Uh, I'm eating this, but it is barely giving me, like it's giving me some hunger, but it's barely giving me any thirst. Can I drink out of this well? Oh, that's probably a bath. <laughs> Can I uh, drink out of water in general? How do I zoom the map in? Like it's microscopic for me, dude. It might be because, uh, okay, the control to zoom the camera in isn't working as well. Oh, mushroom. Can I go inside here at all? Is this a well? You never know, man. So a lot of this area I'm assuming is kind of uh, all walled off and everything. Let's see if I can sneak up on this guy. I'm gonna try and sneak up on him with my smaller sword. You know what? Let's see if uh, hiding in bushes actually helps. I think it'd be great if he took uh, some of the mechanics from Ghost of Tsushima where you could hide in... No, he knows exactly where I am. Where you could hide in long grass and stuff like that. I just always liked that. Okay, I really gotta watch my stamina management, which I'm assuming is tied to my thirst meter. Which kind of sucks. I'm gonna eat in the middle of this battle. Assuming that this mushroom is actually going to help me. Get out of here, bro. I need water really bad. I also find it a little odd that we can't steal their spears, but maybe that's the point. You know, maybe, uh, maybe we're not supposed to be able to, but I'm really struggling here as far as our thirst is concerned. Hmm. Uh, 
the last river was quite a while back and I don't know if we're gonna come across another one. We might have to just run for it past this guy. Let's just go for it. Cause I think, yeah, this will be a shrine. Thank God. So these are our save points. Uh, as far as I know, there are uh, fast travel points as well. Collection box. Is this like a, per a personal storage? You know what? I may have put the rusty katana in there just in the off chance that it is a personal storage and we can find out later. Now, the other thing too is being a YouTuber, I do not like the darkness. I'm not a very big fan of it. But uh, yeah, I get it. Oh, this guy's a shot. Okay, what does he got? A lantern, which I apparently already have, but maybe this is a better one. Bro? Oh boy, okay. Live to fight another day. Because I am struggling for water right now. Like, thirst is a major issue. I don't like how quickly you end up getting thirsty. Like, it's making a big difference. I love the little touches, though. How my character runs, like, with the katana, like, down. So here's water. Can I drink this? I know it's not a river. Okay. And I'm dead in one hit. That got me my water back, though. Unless it just loads the save file. Nope, that got my water back. Okay, good. And it seems like we kept everything. We did lose some durability. But I'm okay with that, honestly. Maybe later on there will be uh, issues with that. But um, yeah, since the game never taught me how to manage thirst and since... As, as is typical with these type of survival games, the uh, thirst is something that, like, I, I don't know about you guys, I could probably go like a full day or so without getting thirsty. <laughs> but for some reason, these characters in video games are like uh, old men. Butcher knife, compass, that might be useful. Oh, I lost a crap ton of money. Ooh, okay. Let's buy the lantern. Just because I want to see... Okay, I can have two lanterns now. Oh, it automatically uh, put it on me now. So that's interesting. And I can stack two lanterns on at the same time. That's hilarious. Okay. Fresh spring. That's probably... Thirst affects stamina regeneration. I mean, if those enemies weren't here, then maybe I would have actually noticed that this was here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I needed a gourd bottle in order to... Okay. Oh, the nice little bamboo shoot, too. I love it. It's just... Yeah, that kind of surprised me. Okay. Uh, let's swap some of this stuff. If I get this off my hot bar... No, it does... Uh, I see. It just auto-equips. That's kind of interesting. Well, we'll put that in our number three. So I'm assuming as I drain my stamina from fighting and so on and so forth. Um, come here, bro. That's how we end up uh, losing our thirst. There we go, idiot. Give me some of that. So I also noticed that health is a separate bar from our health and thirst, so that's interesting. No, you don't. Oh! Okay, got that guy. Get away from me, bro. You know what? I'm gonna eat in the middle of battle. If he would actually start eating the stupid mushroom. Thank you. Okay, it did make a difference as far as my health is concerned. Come here, bro. Woo-wee! I wonder if I get better stamina regen later. The enemies are also uh, really easy right now. I mean, obviously I can still die, but uh, in the demo that I played, there was uh, there was some much more powerful enemies. Now, the other thing too is I wish, I wish my character didn't automatically put his katana away every time. I also wish items would actually stack, you know, that would be helpful too. But um, it'd be nice if we didn't, um, put the katana away just because personally 
I would prefer to put it away myself after a battle. It's just a cool little touch that I prefer. Oh, hey, bro. Uh, okay. Get destroyed? I still wish I could steal their spear. Seems like I can put my sword away some of the time. But let's, uh, let's wash the water off. There we go. Beautiful. I don't know why he stopped sprinting. That was weird. So, I don't know how open world this game is. I know it is open world. I just don't know how open world it is. Because at the moment, I think we're kind of in tutorial land. Okay. Now, I'm draining a lot of stamina by dashing, butting him with my sword, and then continuing. But, so help me. Drink from your gourd, bro. So help me, it just is so effective. I can't help but not, you know, I, I gotta do it. <laughs> so I guess, um, I was gonna say, is the map actually marking stuff? So that shrine was a fast travel point, so that's cool. I feel like it should really be marking other locations. Like it should mark where the water locations are and stuff like that on the map. Maybe there's a way that I can pin stuff on the map, but I, I don't know. Hey, bro. I like the fact that I can just ambush them, dude. Like, that's so cool. Is there anything on the other side of the water here? Oh, that's why I couldn't sprint earlier, because I can't sprint while I'm in the water. Now, this looks like deep water. Does my guy know how to swim? Nope. Let's fast travel out before my guy drowns. Or did I die? Well, it was in the loading screen. Nope. I think we're good. <laughs> Seems like I kept everything. Uh, I want to see if I can sell some of this rusty stuff to the shop guy. Game should have told me that uh, fall damage kills me. We still got a bunch of XP that we haven't been able to spend as well. Uh, can I sell stuff to you? No, I cannot. Okay. Flint and steel. Uh, I don't know what that does, but let's just buy it just because why not? Oh, it's literally flint and steel. Okay. What can I set on fire? What would be the purpose? I don't know. Can I set a fire for like camping and stuff? Is that the point? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out when we go a little bit further. Um, I wonder if there's safe areas too, because as far as I know, hey bro. Uh, yeah. As far as I know, there is... Uh-oh. Two on one. This ain't fair. As far as I know, there is uh, dual requests and stuff like that. Ooh, that was clean, bro. So uh, there's supposed to be like bounties and stuff. I'm just going to clip that just because that was cool. <laughs> Make a YouTube short or something. Um, but yeah, I was reading in the dev vlog that there's supposed to be like bounties that you can get and like random generated quests and junk like that. So I'm really looking forward to those aspects of the game because I don't really know kitchen knife. I don't really know what else there is, you know, bandage doesn't say what it does. I'm assuming that's for crafting. Can I look in any of this other stuff? More sticks. Oh, what if? Can I put the stick down and then light it on fire? Oh my God. Now, can I rest at the fire or is it just for cooking? Cause it'd be nice if I could rest until the daytime, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like I can do anything with it. Uh, this is also one of three locations, by the way. Okay. Well, Cool that it's got those little things. Uh, I just don't know what the purpose is yet. Whoa! Okay, bro. Bad. Bad dude. Okay. I also feel like I shouldn't have to like walk over all of the individual pieces of gold. I mean, I guess the thing that I appreciate about this game is how minimalist it is. 
Like genuinely, I know my face cam's blocking the hunger and thirst, but legit, it's like so tiny, like I can barely see the icons. I'm assuming it's because I'm playing this game at 2K uh, resolution, and it's probably not set up for that. Probably more like 1080p. Okay, let's see if I can actually sneak up on this guy. I don't know if, yeah, let's get our Tento. I don't know whether or not like a sneak attack with the dagger does more damage. That would be really cool if it did. I guess the point is it was really, really fast. So that was kind of cool. Oh, those guys are guarding a locked chest. There's too many of them though. And I don't have a good enough respawn point. So let's, uh, we'll come back here later. There are a lot of dudes patrolling. Okay, let's let's try and skim a little further because I think this is gonna be in our shrine. I just got a feeling. Also, I appreciate the fact that I seem to be able to just dash without draining stamina unless I'm in battle. Hey, wait a minute. I think I know this area. Could be mistaken, but I think this was in the original demo that I played last year. Oh boy, archer guy. You know what? We'll just ignore him. I love the combat being as like cool and tight as it is. The dev ended up commenting in one of his dev logs um, how he actually had like a physical play test like at his school or something. Uh, I, I don't know the full details, but it was really disappointing and disheartening um, because it sounded like, okay, so this collection box doesn't seem to be tied to, wait. Maybe it is tied to our other storage. Let me see, because I think there's a prey area here. So if I fast travel down here, collection is player storage, right? Uh, but anyways, he was saying how um, people that were doing, nice, people that were doing the play test at the school or wherever, he was saying how like they didn't seem to enjoy the idea that it was a one shot kill and they would just like play, die, and then they would just stop playing. Which I don't think, thankfully, I think he kind of recognized that's not really a good play test, you know? Like, it's not like, um, it, I don't know, it's not like going to PAX or TwitchCon or something like that, or I don't know what gaming conventions are, I'm in Canada. Um, and further than that, it doesn't make sense when you think about, like, oh god, uh, like, the people that actually are interested in the game, like, you know, freaks like me. Okay. hi yeah. <sighs> Anyways, I'm just saying, this guy is tanky. Why is he so tanky? Like, what the heck? Is it because I don't have any levels? Is that why? Can I do this? Huah! Anime run. Uh, okay, so there seems to be a little bit of an internal cooldown with blocking or parrying. Because I wasn't able to parry right after he uh, staggered me from the block. Woo! All right, if we just keep baiting him out, then I think I'll be able to beat him. I don't like that it got dark. Woo! All right, come on, you idiot. My guy is like so out of breath. Here, let me just start drinking in the middle of battle because my guy is apparently a decrepit old man who just gets like so thirsty that he can't do anything. Hoo -hoo! Thanks, idiot. Do I get his loot? No, but I can ragdoll him, so I appreciate that. And kick his head around. Nice. <laughs> okay, well, that was pretty cool. Uh, I still wish that I could wait until it was daytime or something. Anyways, I don't, uh, again, I don't know how much there is to this demo, but I'm probably going to be doing a short playthrough, and I think that that's as good a time as ever to call it. So, again, I'll have links in the description for everything about this game, because now you can actually buy your way into the access of it, which hopefully gives me access to the full game when it comes out, because so help me, I'm pumped for this one. It's very minimal, uh, you know, very, very simple, but so help me, it's just, it, it just speaks to me, dude. Anyways, smash like, sub for more, buy the merch you want, support the channel. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for some more Ronin Trail. Today, we are uh, back for the Patreon demo that we've got. Um, 
It took me a couple days before we actually recorded this next clip because there was a couple things that I ran into. First and foremost, we can actually zoom the camera in if I hold Alt and use mouse wheel. Uh, we are actually supposed to be able to rotate the camera, but I think that that's only available for the Kickstarter version of the game because at the moment there's actually a Kickstarter demo and a Patreon demo. And both of those are not equal because the Patreon version of the game Thank you for playing the Ronin tra Trail demo. It ends right here, whereas the Kickstarter version doesn't have this in the way. Now, the funny thing is that I did some digging and it turns out that we are actually using the same version that the Kickstarter players are using. The only difference is that we've got that fence blocking us. And I ended up uh, doing a little bit of research and I did get some replies from the developer in his Discord, which I was surprised about. Turns out that the Steam version of the Ronin Trails demo is very, very recent. Up to this point, he was basically sending people download links or just sending them the raw zip of the Kickstarter version. But to my understanding, the developer is going to get the Steam version synced up and it's going to end up being the same version as the Kickstarter. So eventually that door is going to end up being out of our way. I don't know when, but eventually. Now that said, uh, I tried multiple different versions that I saw available for download on Patreon. And for the life of me, I couldn't find uh, any version that didn't have the fence. But as I open up my map right here, you can see, I did find ways to get out of bounds pretty easily. Uh, and I wandered around the entire map. Like this took me like maybe an hour or two to just wander through everything. And ultimately I found this spot right here. If I could ever actually get up there, there we go. And then we can just climb right up here. And if I'm careful, there's a pit that we can fall into and get stuck. And I don't want that to happen. Um, also, if we're running and we do a dodge, it actually does like a dodge roll rather than just the little sidestep. And you can actually use that to jump over things just because of your character's hitbox uh, kind of goes over things. So there's a little hole right here. But if we run over here, we can actually activate the teleport zone. I'm sorry to show you guys the little cheat, uh, you know, whatever. We're kind of breaking it, but at the same time, now we're actually in the Aboshi fields. So there you go. Uh, as far as I know, that first area was supposed to be like the super linear zone. And now the game is supposed to open up a bit more. Uh, you'll notice I actually have more lanterns on my hotbar. I found that it, the more of them that we have, the like it actually stacks the lighting effect. Uh, so we're actually a lot brighter. Oh, and another thing too, I haven't done this yet, but in the last video I mentioned that there was going to end up being bounties. I didn't know that the boss itself counted as a bounty. So if we refight him at difficulty zero and beat him, we'll unlock difficulty plus one and then difficulty plus two. And once we've killed the boss three times and killed its max difficulty, that's actually how we unlock different combat stances. So I don't know if we'll have time to do that today. Maybe we will. I don't know if I really plan to or anything. I most of all really wanted to explore this new area with you guys uh, because I wanted to check out. Uh, I wanted to see if I could get a fast travel point so that we can actually like actually be here without uh, without me having to uh, go through that little loading screen every time. Because unfortunately, at the moment, I don't have a fast travel point in this location. So I'm not able... Whoa, I didn't know he was an archer. So I'm not able to actually uh, fast travel back to this location, basically. Um, the thing is that uh, I saw somebody on Kickstarter or someone with a Kickstarter demo in the Discord mentioned that uh, this version of the game on Steam was the same version as the Kickstarter demo because when he ended up loading the Steam version of the game, uh, he was actually able to just teleport to this field because he already had the map unlocked because the map seems to carry over from client to client because it's in the uh, app data. 
uh, folder rather than just, uh, you know, rather than, um, rather than it being tied to the actual like character save or whatever. A anyways, long story short, we finally get to actually explore the new area, but this is going to end up being an open zone. And unfortunately you can see right there, I was trying to be careful because I don't want to get caught between anything. Because if I get stuck, be wary of that man on the hill. Who, this guy? Isn't this guy a merchant? What's up, bro? Oh, so he sells katanas outright. That's way too expensive. I'd rather just farm enemies for katanas. He sells me another gourd bottle, which is pretty good. He also sells a fishing pole for 250. That's interesting. And a gun. Oh, okay. I actually got farm coins then. We might not get one of those items today. But so help me, that is awesome. Uh, I did not know that there was a gun. Also, ba -bam, there it is. Now we've got our fast draw point. So now at any point, um, I can just come back to this spot, uh, even if uh, even if we end up getting the, um, even if he patches out the teleport zone, I have this area unlocked now. So that's the important thing. <laughs> oh my God. Hey boys, what's up? Come here, dude. Uh, is my guy in a different combat stance? No, it doesn't seem like he is. He's just... I don't know. These guys are just pushovers, I guess. Sorry, it looked like he was in a different combat stance. Uh, I guess because I was facing left, so it looked like he uh, pulled the sword like up over himself instead of to the side. Anyways, that guy dropped a key, which means, oh, means that there's a box in here that we can end up grabbing. There's also some sticks. Ah, really? Nothing in the storage box? That's lame. The only issue is that I need, like, I actually really need that fishing line. Um, Cause then we could potentially get infinite fish. And that would be a really big deal for me because food is a problem. We actually got a pretty decent amount of money off of these guys. So I should go out of my way to start farming more of them then. I think if we rest at a bonfire or a shrine or whatever, I think it respawns most enemies. I could be mistaken though. There we go, you idiot. We're getting really lucky. Or maybe I'm just that skilled. <laughs> no, not really. Um, I died a lot trying to figure out like how to actually get into this area. Not because I kept falling out of the map, but because I just kept casually like trying to run past enemies and they just kept killing me. Hey, bro. There we go. And see, there you go. Why would I spend 300 gold for a katana that I can just get off of this random dude that I just found, bro? Like, just no thank you. Yeah! Yeah, that's what you think, dude. Woohoo! I love the combat in this game, man. Like, it's so simple, but I love it. What can I say? I don't like the night. I don't like how dark it is. <laughs> the other thing, too. Oh, we got, okay. We got level, uh, we got 200 gold. We better buy this because if I die by getting one shot by one of these enemies, just by being careless or whatever, uh, it means that all will be for naught because it takes away a huge chunk of your money if you die. So, oh, the fishing pole is 250. Crap. I kind of want to get the gun. I want to get the gun. Where do I put that? Do I put it on my hotbar, I guess? Uh... Yeah, okay. Now, does this thing have infinite ammo? Because... Woo! Okay, aiming this thing sucks. So you gotta reload. And it's based on where my character is looking. Uh, my, my aiming reticle is like dead wrong. Okay, this thing's terrible. Unfortunately, like, hello? 
Why did I buy this? Like, am I seriously missing him this many times? Okay. It's a gun, dude. That needs overhauled. Like, I, I flat out, that is just awful. That doesn't make any sense. The gun literally is what destroyed, like, the samurai and why they don't exist anymore in modern times. And yet you're like, okay. What if I, like... Is it, is it like a lie? That hurt him. Like he took, he, he got staggered. Hey. Okay. That's disappointing. That's such a huge waste of gold and waste of time, dude. Like, oh my God. Stupid gun. All right. Uh, get back in my inventory and just sit there and pretend that you don't exist. I get it. He doesn't want it to be like too overpowered or anything. Sure, whatever. But come on, man. That's so bad. Like the point of the gun should be the fact that I could fight them at a range. And then that would be that, you know? I mean, I guess the point is, like, the, I guess the range just doesn't work very well right now. Because even when enemies are using range, they usually just die right away. They're not very aggressive. So, it kind of makes sense. Whoa! Okay, that was actually pretty dang clutch, if I do say so. <laughs> oh, I love this game. I really do. Uh, I don't like the uh, gun, though. Alright, let's reopen this storage chest for absolutely nothing. Cool. At least we're getting a lot of fish, though. That equals out to quite a bit. Um, I do appreciate the fact that this game has, like, the super easy fast traveling, by the way. Because, unfortunately, I don't know where any water is in this area that I can fill in my gourd, you know what I mean? Also, can it stop being nighttime? This is with multiple lanterns that make the game brighter as well, by the way. Oh god, you know what would be kind of cool, but also kind of scary? Is if this game had, uh, ooh. Wildlife. That would kind of suck. I still wish that I could, uh, you know, camp at a fireplace. Maybe I can, but I just don't know. But I wish I could camp at a fireplace and uh, use that to skip to the day. Because, I don't know, I, I really don't like time of day, like, when it, when it's this dark, you know what I mean? Um, Because otherwise, like, I'm having such a hard time, like, seeing where I'm going, and oh, here's a cliff, you know? <laughs> this area might not have much going on other than, like, me needing to grind up currency for the fishing. In which case, I would probably be better off going back to the uh, first area, actually. Just because I know where all those enemies are and it's a lot easier to fight them. Not because they're easier, but just because I know, like, where they're all at and everything like that. Uh, but yeah, if we end up, like, if I end up, like, actually memorizing all of this area and stuff, I would love to, like, have the camera nice and zoomed in for you guys. Just because I feel like it would make for... I don't know, I feel like it would make for a better video. Not necessarily because we couldn't, you know, we obviously wouldn't be able to see anything, but there's like a guard over here. So let's let's see the combat nice up close and personal. Ow. Oh, he broke my sword. Okay. No, 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 no. I don't want to use my Tanto. Don't make me use my Tanto, bro. Idiot. Thankfully, he just stood there like a moron. Okay. Uh, we did have a backup katana, thank God. Oh. Oh, did he... Maybe I still had my same katana, but he punched me uh, or knocked it out of my hand or something like that. And then it threw it into my inventory. Is that what happened? Maybe. 
Also, it seems like these guys give like 10 to 25 gold each. So it's not actually that bad um, trying to farm for the currency. It's, it's not as bad as I thought it was anyways. The problem is I got to remember to pick up the gold and it doesn't actually like show up. Um, like it doesn't vacuum vacuum cleaner into my guy. You know what I mean? Okay, let's see here. Um, I don't even know what half of these stats do. <laughs> I think endurance is good because that gives us more to our total stamina. Dexterity, I have no idea what that stat does. Uh, what about agility? Can I not? Oh. Oh, can I just not get agility right now? Maybe it just doesn't let me. Interesting. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I'll keep my toughness low because I honestly kind of like being one shot by everything anyway. But now that it's daytime, let's actually head into the field. I wish I could sell this guy things. Oh, you know what? Let's actually see if we can get a nice view. Kinda. <laughs> Not really though. <laughs> the, the, the demo that I played last year ended up having a really nice view of the field. So I was kind of wishing that we could see that uh, again. Okay, that's one idiot down. Who didn't seem to drop much of anything. I wonder if, let's find out if I can sneak up on this guy so long as I'm in the tall grass. Okay, he actually kind of knew where I was. He dropped a lot of money, that guy. Yeah, so I, I don't think, like, I don't think it's like Ghost of Tsushima, where so long as you're in the tall grass, nobody sees you kind of thing. How much can I zoom the camera out? Quite a bit, actually. I could fight the rabbit, but that's okay. I love the way, like, look at the grass. We know exactly where the rabbit is. That's so cool. Oh, that's neat too. We can actually slice the top of the, uh, the top of the flowers. There's so many nice little touches to this game. I just, I love it, man. Like the attention to detail is just so cool. Oh boy. I don't want to fight him yet. Or do I? I really don't want to fight him yet because, frankly speaking, I want to, like, I don't want to lose my currency. That's kind of... That's kind of a bit of a problem with this game that I'm noticing. That uh, I hope gets rectified. That it, Maybe it's just how I think, but um, with my brain being the way that it is, all I see is the more money I have, the more risk I have. And so I'm of the mind, like, especially with this type of a game, it's like, why take the risk? You know, like grind up the currency and all of the stuff that I need first. Uh, and then spend all of the money that you can before we end up going and fighting. Unless we could um, put our money in storage, that would be nice. I don't think that we can. Hello. The camera is going to be the worst enemy with you. So I don't think I'm going to fight him. Yep. Nope. <laughs> I'm not going to take that risk. That cliff is just going to get in my way, dude. So it seems like there might not actually be too much left to the demo. Because uh, a lot of this actually just looks like it might be out of bounds. And I'm noticing that the game isn't really evolving once we get to this next area. It's still really cool and I still love this game for what it is, which is just a simple little samurai game. But... We can totally see that there's uh, there's a lot to be desired at the moment. Like there's not even that many enemies in this field. Uh, which makes me wonder, oh, that was like a special hill over there. Maybe there would have been like a special enemy on top of there or something. But it's a lot of running, you know? Um, 
I'm kind of a little bit numb to the running in a straight line because frankly speaking, whoops, are you guys good? Because I already did a lot of uh, running when I was exploring the first map. The Shogun added new travel restrictions. Okay, so if I fall off the bridge, I'm dead. Um, that's funny. So that's a storage chest. Those guys, I'm not going to be able to fight because they got armor. So I don't want to fight them yet. Unless... No, because I don't want to risk dying. I want to fight what I know at the moment. But as far as I know, that's the end. Uh, I think somebody mentioned that they did find a way to get past that gate and go into the next zone. But I don't think it was functional. I, I could be mistaken. I don't actually know. But I'm going to actually go around and see if I can... Um, I'm going to try and get like as much of the currency as we can because I want to get to the fishing because I think it's safe to say that this is probably going to be the end of this short little series. And so I want to try and get to the 250 currency so that we can see what the fishing's about. Or I could just die right there because my sword gets caught on a tree. Awesome. How much money did I lose? Oh, sweet. Like 50 bucks. Okay, you know what? Then I'm going to go and fight that guy. <laughs> Screw the fishing. We'll just do that some other time. Or I'll just create like a YouTube short or something. Now we don't have as much to lose. So I just want to fight this guy and say screw it. Where's my katana? There we go. I guess my last one broke. Now I wonder if I could go and get my death pile. I don't think so. But let's see. Hey, bro. Ooh, he's got a nice stance. Woo! Okay. Uh, let me eat my fish. Thank you very much. I'm holding left click, you stupid game. Eat the dang fish. Ooh, this guy. He's gonna drain my stamina. Drink! Drink, bro. Drink your sake. Whew. Okay. Oh, you know what I should do? Zoom the camera in so that it's more cinematic. Okay, that's actually his blocking stance. When he's got the sword on top of his head. Woo! Thanks for like the five bucks, idiot. Oh my god, we get his outfit. Let's get it, dude. Oh! That was cool. I wonder if we can like duel Katana. That would be dope. Okay, let's see. So his outfit. Yes! Beautiful. I'm still covered in blood, unfortunately. But whatever. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, you know what? Maybe we still got one more episode in us with this playthrough. Uh, because when I think about it, we do have to refight the bosses so that we can get all of their stances. Yeah. So I think that's what we'll do. So we'll probably have, uh, again, we'll probably just have one more episode. Uh, but I think that's as good a time as ever to call it is just after fighting a big old boss guy, you know? Seems like I can just left click spam and kill most of these guys because they're really, really weak. Uh, but anyways, oh dear God. I hope that you guys and gals have been enjoying this series and having fun with me because I, I still like this game's so simple and yet it's just really addictive and I've been having a lot of fun with it. So anyways, uh, I'll have, you know, links in the description and everything to where you can pick the game up and blah, 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 blah. But anyway, smash like stuff for more, buy the merch you want, support the channel. Have a wonderful day, everybody.